I would like to invite Mir Geis, the CEO of Nitron. Thank you. Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Nir Geist. Uh, that's the name. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of uh, Neutron Information Security. We're actually um, doing just information security, but we have uh, a few things to do with cyber as well. Um, that's, uh, I, w I want to actually say a few things about, um, I, I find it quite hard to ignore the terminology. Um, the world of uh, five or six years ago um, actually apparently didn't understand neither the problem nor the need of information security. Um, and uh, today, actually, actually, um, be, instead of uh, of uh, acknowledge the mistake, uh, he actually uh, decided to made up a new name for the industry, which is uh, which is great. Uh, but if it helps to understand the importance, that's that's really great. Um, in this industry, actually, um, in this industry, actually, um, there is. Um, a few we, we can we can differentiate the challenges into various types. Um, one is the is the core challenge, the core challenges, uh, which are actually the same challenges as we had uh, 20 years ago. Uh, there are the new challenges like the cloud uh, services and many different uh, challenges that came up with uh, with the years, and there are also the um, challenges that we like to discuss and we, we like to uh, to deal with, but um, they are actually barely even exist yet. Uh, and I mean, uh, there are many attempts to try to try and solve problems like uh, threats to the refrigerator and the toaster and many things like that. I mean, Internet of Things, general. Um, but. The problem is that there are many attempts that established in recent years uh, to solve many of these challenges. There are still many companies, uh, good ones, where we, we still try to, uh, to deal with the core challenges, um, although we had these challenges, as I said, from even 20 years ago. These challenges are still not covered. They are still not solved. And this is the real problem. Uh, I started with um, with these few words about the terminology, uh, but it actually represents something. It represents the fact that, uh, if we will admit it, we actually find it easier to run away from uh, from challenges. We actually decide to do something very funny. We we actually um, adapt to ourselves new challenges, uh, and we ignore the core problems. Uh, the, a good example for, for a core problem um, is actually just to protect the organization's network and network services from the threat that we don't know. We can spend all this day uh, discussing many problems, but this problem and we must remember, is not yet covered. There is not technology to protect a simple threat to the organization. I'm not saying that um, that protecting the nation is is not a challenge, and it is a very big challenge. But hey, people, if we will find the way to protect, to really protect the organization, we might find that. Protecting the nation might be a bit easier, but we prefer, as I said, to be focused on protecting the nation and we leave the organization's network quite exposed. Um, Michal here just said that we cannot prevent threats. Um, this is true, we cannot prevent threats, but we cannot... We cannot prevent breaches, nothing. <laughs> we cannot prevent breaches, and we will, we will have breaches um, probably in the future, but I think, and we discuss advanced technologies here, uh, we have to keep um, 
trying at least to invest in solving these problems. Um, there are ways, at least uh, in my point of view, to, uh, to do this. There are new technologies, uh, there are hundreds of them um, established in recent years, as I said, Neutron is one of them. Uh, we try to develop, excuse me, we're not trying, we already developed, um, a technology that is vulnerability agnostic. Uh, we are not the only one trying to do that. There is a possibility to do that, uh, at least in my point of view. Uh, the core problem is, and we, we have to simplify, uh, people here are, are at least saying that they're trying to simplify things. I will really try to do that. At the end of the day, the problem is that we cannot yet differentiate between a simple activity generated by a simple program and the same activity generated by a threat. This is the problem. Uh, at the last 20 years, there were many attempts to develop blacklist-based technologies to solve this problem because this is the only way, at least for now, to, uh, to, to differentiate, and this is not a real differentiation. And the problem of today is that many of the new attempts are still doing the same thing in a different way. There are still blacklist-based technologies. This is not an advanced technology uh, to take the same, uh, the same approach of blacklist and to move it from the endpoint to the network and so on. We have to move to whitelist-based technologies. This is the only way to identify um, new breaches at the end of the day. Um, this is what I believe in. And I, I really think that there is a place for new advanced technologies. We, we cannot admit and we cannot, uh, we cannot acknowledge the fact that there is no way to, uh, to identify or prevent new breaches. That will not help us at the end of the day to, to protect from anything. Um, I will really be short and I will finish here, so thank you very much.